I'm back with another Louis Vuitton League of Legends collaboration, because although Christmas is still a few weeks away, we've been visited by another Saint Nicholas of sorts. Yes, the equestrian-loving dive suit fetishist from Louis Vuitton is back with the launch of this luxury streetwear capsule collection in collaboration with League of Legends. Because there's nothing better to follow up your giant sexual misconduct settlement than a fashion line that most of your fan base can't afford. But let's take a look to see what old Nick has turned out for us this time. From what I can tell here, a lot of the clothing is the typical Louis Vuitton pattern with this gold, black, blue sort of camo design over top of it. And then we have a few standard items, you know, the purses with that pattern. This skirt is really interesting. And I almost wonder how it how it sits, but it it's like a, a garbage garbage bags, you know those like glad garbage bags that you can get in a, a whole box of them. This apparently is the typical wearer of this kind of clothing. Um, not to say that she doesn't play League of Legends, but I mean. These boots are really similar to the ones that Keanu wears, except they're a billion times uglier because they don't have that really cool silver teal color that we were really praising before. And here we have Nicolas being a little too extra with his dive suit nonsense. Like, this whole dress just looks like just a wetsuit. And he designs stuff like this, but it's just, oh, I just... I don't understand it. I think the pattern is so, so clashy with it all. I just, I, I just, I don't know who would wear this. Who is the, who is the owner of, of something like this? Like, it has to be a person who has to be at least remotely interested in League of Legends, right? Like, or else you would just get some other brand name item, right? I do really like the trainers. Again, I wish they were in a different color, but I'm always down for a really crazy sneaker design. I think it's it's not really bold saying anything that a really cool pair of sneakers really like sets an outfit off. Sneaker culture is just insane right now and I think it just makes sense. The price is $850, which surprisingly is not the most unreasonable thing here. This bum bag, as they're calling it, is pretty much the exact same one that Keanu wears as well. But I bet you it doesn't include the belt. I bet you it's just the purse and you have to buy the belt separately. But they don't do that typically because they want to advertise it as a f full look. So it's a little tricky there because, you know, they don't want you thinking that, you know, you're getting this all of this for 15, 30 pounds. Like, come on for just a simple square of a fabric like this. Oh, no, because the price of the single square of fabric is right here, it's 320 pounds. Why, of course. This peplum top is really the closest we get to something really interesting and video gamey at the same time, which they're calling a sporty scuba jersey transformed into a feminine peplum top. Thermo bonding technique? Use as a separate or pair with the matching leggings for a sporty yet feminine silhouette inspired by the League of Legends champions. Which League of Legends champion is this based off of? This is just a graphic t-shirt for 500 pounds. Oh. Fanny pack, very impressed with that, to be honest. Still ridiculous, but I'm glad they did it, I, you know, just conceptually. This, I think, is the most expensive thing, this, this 4,200 pound jacket. And it's stunning, but, oh my. It might be one of the coolest things because the pattern is so subdued. It just looks like a cool disco jacket, but 
The connection again to League of Legends is really, really slim here. I, I don't know. This diamond bracelet? What a steal, 220 pounds. This monogram canvas bracelet belongs to the exclusive Louis Vuitton League of Legends collection. Inspired by Kiana's weapon. Okay, I think that's a little bit of a stretch. It's a damn bracelet with your monogram on it. Who are these ugly ass trousers inspired by? That's what I want to know. This watch is actually really cool. And I like how you, you have Kiana's weapon in the middle there. That is, yeah, that is really cool. It's subtle and stylish. I'll give him that. The watch is really, really cool. At least it's something that's uniquely league and also just a typical luxury accessory. You know, you'll spend a little bit more on a nice watch. Maybe not that much more. And I guess here they have different ways or suggestions of ways to style your outfits. None of which look anything like any League of Legends character. They've done it. They've done it. A luxury Teemo hat. This is just, just a keychain. It's just a keychain. Is this how much we got to pay to get some League of Legends fancy shit on our bags? And while it's funny to laugh at the ridiculous items luxury brands put out, people will buy them. I'm not exactly sure who, but someone will. And I'm looking forward to whatever outfits they come up with. But it's baffling and frustrating that this collection exists. I'd hardly call the company that sells nothing but graphic tees for women a pioneer in any sort of fashion industry. And in general, it can be difficult finding any clothing for women who want to rep their favorite games. And most of the time, it's the unofficial fan created designs that are the most fashionable and accessible items you can find. But when we finally see some official merchandise that's even the slightest bit fashionable, and it looks like this, with these prices, and with this company, there are a lot of lower end fashion brands Riot could have partnered with to deliver a line that could have been enjoyed more widely. Uniqlo already has a history of this, for example, and has put out some very cool designs. But instead, Riot chased for the prestige for a streetwear line designed by this French guy. Some of the items are really cool, and I always love when video games transcend into the fashion world. But overall, it's a tacky look all around. Thank <laughs> you.